Fighter Share Report. We're here with the champ. And my mom. And his mom. <laughs> Mama oh, she's T. The champ. Mama T. <laughs> <laughs> Mama T and Mr. Antonio Tarver. Thank you, brother. So thank you so much for this interview. Um, you have fought so many people through the years. Yeah. What has been your toughest competitor to date? I would have to say Eric Harden, man. He was one of my toughest fights. He beat my butt the first fight, broke my jaw, and was winning the second fight until I uh, I pulled that magic trick out of my hat. <laughs> and we tapped him with that left hand on the chin, and uh, the rest is history. But yeah, Eric Harden was one of the toughest puzzles for me to figure out, man. And also B-Hop, you know, uh, with where I was at at the time, I mean, it was a lot tougher than I even thought. And, uh, you know, that was one of my toughest fights. Now, coming from Central Florida, there weren't, a, it wasn't like a long legacy when you got here. Right, right. Uh, since then, we have you, we have Winky Wright, we have Jeff Lefkoe, yes. Lacey. Um, Keith Thurman now. Keith Thurman yeah. now, Silky Wilkie. Yes. Uh, your son. Junior coming up. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> now, how hard was it for people to take you seriously on that next level, coming out of Central Florida? It wasn't that hard, man, because I had made my name as an amateur. You know, I, I broke history as an amateur and uh, won a bronze medal in the Olympics. But I don't think anybody ever knew that I would have this type of longevity and would uh, be as successful as I was and had those, you know, unbelievable epic nights in boxing. I mean, who could have ever really uh, predicted that? So, you know, God had his hand in a lot of that, man. He still has his hand in all of it. So that's why I'm still here today, and I'm chasing that dream of becoming heavyweight champion and beseeding the great George Foreman to be the oldest man to ever do it. I think that'll be the feather in my cap that I'm looking for to uh, put a, a, a the, in the final chapter of my illustrious career. And you have something that you can hang your hat on beyond just the world championship. Most of us grew up watching Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that you beat Rocky <laughs> on screen. <laughs> How did that feel to get the opportunity to cement, uh, again, another notch in your legend on the silver screen? Man, that was one of those things I, I never thought, you know, I, that I'll be getting the opportunity to do, but I've always had that in my heart. I mean, so God is a, he's a dream maker, man, and through God, everything is possible. So I was able to go there, I did it, I, I put my all into it, Every, the fans loved it, and I'm still remember to this day, I, I think a lot more so from the Rocky movie, then unfortunately the work that I've done in the ring. But you know, as long as it go hand in hand, it, it's not a problem. Well, you wouldn't have to worry about me calling you Mason Dixon. <laughs> because I still remember you beating Roy Jones Jr. Yeah. And your famous comment after the fight. Which that was before the fight. That was before the yeah, fight. Yeah, what's your excuse tonight, Roy? Yeah, that's crazy, man. That will be on our show, okay. Constable. Let me know. <laughs> Thank you. The, one of the last things I want to ask you, um, you, you've now become a successful commentator, as well as continuing to fight successfully in the ring. What is the legacy that you see yourself leaving that your son will be able to pick up and take and other people who follow you will be able to pick up and take? Well, man, just I think the legacy I want to live, live, live is that, man, anytime you can set your heart to something, you can achieve it. Uh, you know. Yes, it's going to be tough. Yes, you're going to be met with some obstacles. But that's not a reason enough to give up on your dream. You just got to just work through. And that's what I've learned from a young age, man, that as long as you got strength and you got vision and you have dreams, man, keep pursuing it. Every day you wake up, no matter what anybody tell you, you can't become. Prove them wrong. And that's what I've been doing my whole life. And since today is Mother's Day, yes, <laughs> we thought it was your sister, but you say she's your mother. <laughs> what is the greatest gift that she has given you? The greatest gift? Mm, she's given me a lot of gifts. Um, I think that the greatest gift is just being an honorable man. I mean, having a word and, and, and being a man of your word, basically just Believe in what you believe and what you feel and uh, not being afraid enough to just be the only person to believe if it takes that. Because we've been the only person to believe and I've achieved. So there's just never no, I'm just one of those guys, man, that I don't quit. I'm never gonna quit. And as long as I got the health and strength, I'm gonna pursue it. So, and, and that's God, I can't, I don't understand a lot of times why I'm still here at 47 and I'm in this body and I'm in this 
you know, and why I'm still able to do the things I, I pray, man. And I just stay faithful. That is a reason why he's preserved me this well. And when I think about it, it's only for the heavyweight championship. And when you look at all the things that are, it seems like the outside world is doing to prevent me from grabbing that last goal, I know I'm close. So I'm gonna stay faithful and I'm gonna stay true to what I believe in. That was gonna be my last question because I saw Larry Holmes, who was still in that elite level when Riddick Bowe and Evander Holyfield were going toe to toe, but Larry Holmes never got that shot. But it seems like you have more of a groundswell of people really supporting you to get that. And you're right, it's gotta be attributed to the blessings of God. Yes, man. Um, last question, I yes, promise sir. you, my last question. All right. What'd you do for mom today? Well, we enjoyed ourselves, man. We went to a beautiful lunch, and uh, she came to see her grandson fight. It was, I think, the second time you've seen him live? Yeah. So, you know, just spending time, I got my beautiful fiance here, so we just spending quality time, man, and I uh, haven't really spent a whole lot of time because I've been so busy, so this has just been a blessing for both of us. Well, we're going to let you get out of here. Thank How can we man. follow you on uh, social media? All my social media is at Antonio Tarver. Follow my son. Hey, man, he looked like he's on his way. Antonio Tarver, Jr. And uh, be a part of Team Tarver, man. Get your T-shirts online at Antonio Tarver, officialantoniotarver.com. And be a part of Team Tarver, man, because we're going to make history. We're looking to break history in the near future. Well, you heard it here first on the Fighter Share Report. Thank you, Chan. Thank you. God Appreciate bless. It. Thanks for having me.